Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In light of the recent COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic which has spread across the entire world, Alhamdulillah, the brothers and sisters of Qanz al have been at the forefront in serving the Muslim community. My dearest respected viewers, now is the time for our young, able Muslim brothers and sisters to come forward and serve their community. If we are not going to do it, believe me, our brothers and sisters out there will go without having a ghusl done. They will be buried without a ghusl. Our Honorable Sheikh, Sheikh Saqib Iqbal Hafizahullah has outlined that this is of utmost importance in his recent book, Islamic Funerals during COVID-19. And as a result, our brothers and sisters of Qanzul Huda all across the UK and Alhamdulillah all across the world are now going through training sessions on how to correctly and safely perform the ghusl of the deceased and how to correctly wear the personal protective equipment in order to protect themselves during the ghusl. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us all during this time and we raise our hands and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give all of the Muslim community the tawfiq to come together at this time to serve our brothers and sisters, those people who have passed away and give us the tawfiq to honor the deceased who have left this dunya as a result of COVID-19 in order for them to prepare themselves for the akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the tawfiq to act upon what has been said. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have an overall, the feet will cover your shoes. You have goggles, you have a pair of gloves, and you also have a mask. You will start with putting on your suit, the legs first, uh, and then you'll put the entire suit on. Once you have done the zip up, you will then double glove. The second pair of gloves that you will have on, they will be the ones which are going to be the most contaminated. The pair of gloves which are beneath that, they are going to be those gloves which are still going to be considered to be contaminated, however, very less so contaminated. Therefore, uh, it is highly recommended that these are double gloved. Now, it's important to note that when putting on the gloves, that the sleeves of the suit are tucked inside the gloves. You will then put on your face mask, pressing the sides um, of the nose and ensuring that it's completely sealed, uh, covering the nose and the mouth. Now you can either wear goggles which will be used to protect the eyes or you can have an entire visor. Both work exactly the same way. Now is a time of extreme caution. It is the way that we are taking it off. The person who is performing the ghusl should consider himself to be completely contaminated from head to toe. The first thing that the person will do is undo the zip. Now it's extremely easy to actually put your fingers on the inside and hold the jacket. Again, you must be absolutely careful that the gloves which you have, they are considered to be contaminated, that they do not touch the inside clothing. You'll pinch the outside clothing, undo the zip and take out the arms, whether that means you have to move your body around in some way to make sure that the clothing comes off. You will then take out the arms. Once you have taken out the arms, then you will pull out the legs. Pinching each of the fingers, you will then take off the first layer of gloves. The under layer gloves have not come in contact with anything on the top. Using those, you will then remove the goggles. Then pinch the fingers uh, and pull that glove off and then you will put your finger on the inside of the glove and then you will take the glove off that way. Once you have done that, it is essential that you then wash your hands in accordance with NHS guidelines and that is with soap, water and for 20 seconds and using the motions which I have shown. Once that has been done, you will then remove the mask. Now, be very careful not to touch the front of the mask. Uh, however, just using the string at the back to remove it. Once that has been done, you will wash your hands again for another 20 seconds uh, using uh, warm soapy water. And once that has been done, then Alhamdulillah, it has been completed. 